welcome back everyone uh, in this video uh, we will continue with our scratch series in the in the previous video we successfully made our pac-man which opens and closes its mouths on clicking the green button and it's working perfectly fine so in today's video i'll be designing the maze on which the pac-man runs so let's quickly get started and for that we would need the background area because the stage will be on the background and the pac-man will move on it so let's go to the stage background which is on the left hand side right here here it is so we have the stage area and we do not need to need any commands right now so let's go and design this which is in given in the backdrops area so you can go ahead and select your background color so i like it to be black so let's click black and you will see that it is quickly reflected onto a stage area and with this i see that my pac-man has some white lines in it it's not perfect so let me just uh, take a second and make it make it perfect okay yes it seems okay now yes yes okay now all the white lines are erased so i can go back to my backstage area and let's design this so i think our pack pen is too large so we need to reduce the size of it so how to do that just go to this top bar and you will have this shrink option which is given by four arrows and uh, a shrinking size shrinking symbol is given so click on that and bring the cursor to this uh, pack pen and click on it the more times you click the more times it will get shrinked so let's do it again and i need it to be shrinked much more because it's okay it's too small now let's enlarge it on left hand side of the shrink up button you will have the enlarge button let's enlarge it i think this will be fine yes so let's move it to the center as let's move it to the center yes okay yes how am i finding the center approximate center yes because you can see the coordinates here x and y so here you can see the coordinates will be almost near to zero zero so i think it's quite near to the center so let's quickly draw our maze i will draw my maze to be in rectangular shapes let's so let's click the rectangle and i want it to be lines with thickness so this thickness will be too much so just you can increase and decrease the thickness by dragging this option bar so i would like it to be color of light green okay so let's see how it happens yes it's perfect yes i think this will be okay and i think it's not at the center so we need to move it to the center so let's see just go to this grab option and select the area that you need to move and leave it and sorry and sorry i think i messed it up okay i think yes i need to cut this out okay i will fill this up with a black paint and i think everything is okay now so let's do the rectangles part again let's go to green color and try to make it at the center now so i think this will be good yes yes it's at the center almost at the center okay so i need more rectangles similar to that so i will be drawing one more here here and another one over here simply by clicking and dragging and i think i can adjust one more rectangle over here so i think yes that will do but you need to make sure that your pacman can fit into those spaces between these rectangles i think uh, almost everywhere it can it is quite packed here but it can fit in this and but rest of the rectangles it can comfortably move in between those rectangles so we have our maze here so let's go to the backstage area again so i need uh, some means uh, i need a maze right so i need to have some entry points from so that the pacman can move into these points from one rectangle to the other so let's cut this out by again selecting the rectangle and now i'll select the black color why because the our background color is black so we'll cut out this part maybe maybe this part you can design your own maze as per as complicated as you want but i'm designing rough, a rough design is there so i think yes 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 okay i think that will work for now 
yes that will work okay i think uh, yes and this was our maze part though a uh, thing or two is left for the maze design so we need to design blocks which we will be doing in the next video so please check out the next video and for then thank you thank you for watching